F4H Rosso here and welcome back to GT Sport. Today we're going to be doing a track guide in the circuit experience mode focusing on the tricky technical Japanese marvel that is Scuba Circuit. Today we'll be driving the Mitsubishi Evo Group 4, a four wheel drive monster basically built for this circuit. So let's see first of all how an onboard lap of the tricky track is done. So let's break it down and take a look at how the circuit is attacked sector by sector. Approaching turn one we'll be in fourth gear. You're looking for this patch of grass on the left hand side, well not really grass but mud. We're basically looking for just at the end of that we're going to break hard, dive towards the apex, a very important component of Tsukuba is because it has consistent radius hairpin turns, long sweeping hairpins rather than tight acute hairpins. We want to be, particularly in four wheel drive cars, getting into the corner nice and early so that we can maximize our exit, get on the power as early as possible to really lean on the acceleration and grip that these cars have on power out of corners. So brake hard and down into second gear and as I said, get into that corner, we're already hard on the power and we can barely see the exit. Now these two sweepers might not look like much but they actually determine quite a lot in terms of your positioning and braking for the second hairpin. Take as much grass as you can, be careful to leave two wheels on the red and white striped curbs just to make sure that you don't uncertify or dirty any laps. It's particularly important for the second of the two sweepers as we want to be braking in as much of a straight line as possible so as not to unsettle the car. You'll see I've used a lot of the grass on that right hand side to brake straight aiming at where I want to position the car for the left hander. Again, get in tight to this left hander, it's a consistent radius bend so we want to be again abusing that acceleration and mechanic of four wheel drive cars. Already we're on the power, the same as turn one. Sweep over to the left hand side of the circuit, you're looking for these hay bales on the left hand side, we're going to brake just before they turn white and nip the car in for the right hander. This corner might not look like much, but it's actually deceptively tricky. Take too much of the grass on the inside and it unsettles the car and sends you out to the barriers on the left hand side. Get on the power too early or take the corner too wide and you'll head over this green rumble strip on the left hand side, ultimately assigning you the same fate. Not much to report from the sweeping left hander, just keep it pinned and get over to the left hand side of the circuit. Look for the little strip of green astro, we want to be making this as wide as we possibly can. It gives us the best line through the third of our hairpins. Break hard as the green astro begins and again as we've done in the two before, get the car in nice and tight to the apex and on the power nice and early. The difference with the first two hairpins and the third one is that the third one has a slight bank just offline. It actually helps rotate the car, so don't get right tight into the curb. 
probably leave about a quarter of a car width between you and the curb for the maximum exit speed. Heading down into the final corner and again we're looking for those patches of dry grass on the left hand side. Spy those and just after we're diving hard onto the brakes. We're in fourth gear entering the corner. Just give it a blip down into third. It helps the car turn in. It's less to scrub off speed and more to get the car's front end to comply. Four wheel drive cars can suffer sometimes with a little bit of understeer and this just mitigates that. Once you can see the exit, hard on the power and over the green Astro. And that concludes our track guide on the time trial icon that is Sukuba. Hopefully you found it helpful and hopefully it helps you get those elusive gold medals. If there's other tracks that you'd like to see me break down, let me know in the comments section below and as always, have an amazing evening and I'll see you all very soon.